in the tiny community of Grand Ronde, Oregon, right off Highway 18. Few of the cars heading to Lincoln City, Pacific City, or the casino notice the unassuming old Grand Ronde Bank building. It closed long ago. <laughs> it's where memories live. Fewer people still know <laughs> what replaced it. The library, the time for God. Something that gives new meaning to the phrase banking hours. And now go open up the library door. And they probably don't see 80-year-old Amelie Redman dutifully open the doors, rain, snow or shine, once a week, only on Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have a flag. Try to open by noon on your mark. <laughs> But Amelie is here long before that. Uh, I take about three to start with. This former bank vault has no cold cash and no heat. Uh, hello, I'm building a fire and I come early. <laughs> All right. No phone, no computer. Amelie has replaced the bank teller. Yeah. Uh, and what was once a depository of banknotes now holds other treasures. Thomas B. Costain. And to think that grandma and grandpa had those books as children. Yeah. Riches of books. Novels, alphabetical, the A's start up by the street and it comes around back here and over here and a little bit around the other side. Yeah, that's these. Horror, the romance. My romance days, that was uh, Look to the Mountain. Sci-fi and fantasy. They're all donated, yes, truly, truly. A library time forgot. This is Zane Gray. Founded by the Grand Ronde Women's Club in 1958. There's always something to be learned. It was once the only library oh, around. It's not connected to the Confederated Tribes of Grand mm. Ronde, which now has its own library up the road. Yes. This is the, the book where we write down the patrons' names. It's the original spiral notebook, as far as I can tell. About 3,500 names in all. Francis Mercier. Willamina school kids checked out some of the first books. Pond. I went to school with the Ponds. Glenda Morgan. I have the Bailey Bailey Baker. Amelie's mom checked out books too. Oh, 727. Bernice J. Rydell. That's my mom. Yep, that's me. And of course, Amelie. Oh, there's where I signed in. 3365, Elsie. Elsie signed me and that's her handwriting. Yeah. Elsie was the original librarian. When she passed away, I started coming here and being the librarian. That was 2013, and she's been here every Monday since. Yeah. Oh, yeah. except for one. This was Eclipse. I closed on the Eclipse day so I could go watch the Eclipse. There's no card catalog. No radio, no TV. And many times, yeah, no patrons. It's amazing how you can hide in plain sight. Put out an open sign. Maybe if I put out a sign, free counseling, I'd get more people. But don't call her a lonely librarian. You're engaged with the world when you're reading. And even when no one else is here, she always has company. Yes, look at all the free books I get to read. I haven't read them all yet. <laughs> the fiery fingers. Oh, man. And keeping this Thank hidden you. in plain you sight little library favor. open yeah. has become Amelie's calling. It's keeping the spirit of learning. And on average, uh, once a week. Yeah, somebody. Uh, who is that? Hey. Someone to share it with. Usually I get somebody. A couple people every week, yeah. Travis Dow moved to the area a couple of years ago. So I drove by it, going to the post office and going to the store. And I was like, this is, you know, it's an old bank building turned into a library. And so my curiosity was, I am a reader. I'm a nerd. It's history. It's good stuff. And this time, <laughs> Travis brought his sister Frankie oh, yes. from Dallas, Oregon. And the crawdads thing. They, they just made a show on that on Netflix. Yeah. Eminent artists. It's from uh, like 1964 and 83. So about every 20 years it gets checked out. 
My number was 3,500. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have yeah. to look and see if I wrote it in, in your last year. Bye. For Amelie, it's what keeps her coming back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Monday after Monday after Monday. I haven't been replaced yet. Oh, poo. As library hours come to a close. He's here for more than four hours, generally. But The first librarian, Elsie's son, Dennis Worth, arrives. Oh, well. He keeps the library funded in his mom's memory. That's partly true, I suppose. Together, okay. Dennis and Amelie close the book on another week. We're uh, on our way out the door. For the little library waiting to be discovered. You got it. Off Highway 18. <laughs> standing as a quiet legacy that speaks volumes. The little library that could. <laughs>